Hey guys, it's Jennifer Peter IDX, and just so I don't forget, forget, I'm doing a giveaway right now, so I'll list the video for that giveaway in the description box below, just so I don't forget. And now on to this video. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite kind of cream, liquid-ish based products that I've been loving, and a few that I haven't been loving. So I think we'll get into the one that I used, that I used, that I use the most often and it's the big revolution conceal and define full coverage concealer but i use this as my cream contour if you would have told me a few years ago i'd be using a cream contour in a few years i would have said you are a goddamn liar i use the shade c12 it's my perfect shade it blends amazing i don't like this formula as a concealer i think it's a little on the drying side it creases a bit i have fine lines and wrinkles, whatever. So nothing doesn't crease on me under my eyes, but I love this for cream contouring. If you're scared of cream contouring, if you're not sure about it, I recommend using this the first time. It's very affordable, you can get it at Ulta. It has a ton of shades. I don't even know, I can't remember how many shades it has, but it has a ton. If you're scared, make this your first one. The next are my two favorite blushes. The first is from Flower Beauty. Um, again, I was totally scared of cream blushes. This is in the shade Melon. It has this really cool applicator spout, if you will, and a really cool cap. So when you close it, there's no chance of it going everywhere, no chance of it being a mess. I really appreciate that. This is as much as I use every time I use it. I literally smooth it out of my hand, get my beauty blender, tap it in, go like this. I might use a tiny bit more, maybe I'm lying. Go like this, pat it around, and then I'm done. You can build it up if you want. They have about, I think like five or six shades maybe, maybe I'm off by one or two. But I mean, this is my perfect blush shade. It gives me that nice glow, it's really healthy looking. It's not patchy, it blends perfectly. I have nothing bad to say about this blush. I was gonna try another shade or two, but I'm on a no buy right now, so. I'm gonna wait to do that. The next is something that I got. I feel like I got, got it in Ipsy or something a while ago. This is this. This is the Botanic Beauty Blush Serum, and it's in the shade Sunrise. And this is like a bubblegum pink. I might even go as far to say it's, it's like neon pink. But the color is beautiful. But I mean, same thing. I put a little bit on my hand, rub it out, use my beauty blender, tap tap tap, dab dab dab. It really blends just as nicely as the, as the Flower Beauty. It's not as accessible as the Flower Beauty blush, but I really enjoy using this. It gives you a really pretty flush. Again, it's a little bit more pink. It looks very neon, but once you actually blend it out, a really good blush and I will definitely use it until it's gone. The next are, now I say some of these are liquid. They're not all like true creams, but they're things that I consider like on the cream liquid side. Some of them are jellies. So uh, I'm gonna consider them all like creams. The next are highlighters. I'm gonna use some of them today because I don't have a highlighter on right now. The first two are sticks. The first one is from ColourPop. If you've been with me a while, this will be no surprise. This is in the shade Starbright. Oh my God. This is phenomenal. I mean, the shade is magnificent. The formula is just gorgeous. I have nothing bad to say about this. I also have the shade Earth, which, which is like a tiny bit on the pink side, but not enough to look pink. This is just my favorite though. This I actually apply with my finger and it works fine. It doesn't move my makeup around. It blends perfectly. Highly recommend if you wanna try like a cream stick highlighter, really, really good. The next is from Essence. I can't find this anymore unfortunately, but I had to mention it because it's so good. In case it comes back in stock ever, this is the Essence Strobe Highlighter Stick. It goes from cream to powder. It's very reminiscent of the ColourPop and it's in the shade 20, Glow Up Your Life. It's more kind of like a pearlized finish, whereas ColourPop is a little more sparkly, whereas the Essence is a little more, maybe a little bit more subtle. I hope these come back in stock because these are just as good as the ColourPop and like half the price. The next are like jelly highlighters and these scared me at first. They really scared me. I later found that I have nothing to be scared of because these are here for me. The first one is from Wet n Wild and this is the jelly highlighter in highlighter. 
I think they only came out with one shade. And some people don't like that it came with so much, but I literally just opened like a corner of it and I dip my finger in. It applies really nicely. It blends really nicely. It's beautiful. It dries fast. So you have to kind of be quick, but I, I, I think it's great. I've had this for a while too, and, as long, and it's still very jelly-like. It hasn't dried out. It's a beautiful shade. The next is from e.l.f., and this is the Jelly Highlighter in Bubbly. This has a slightly, like it's a little more gelatinous. This has a slightly like taupey kind of undertone. It's, a little, it's slightly different. Uh, I guess they're kind of similar, but there's something different about it to me. Maybe they're kind of similar, but both really good. Also dries really fast. They kind of feel very similar, so. If you don't want the huge tub of the Wet n Wild jelly, you might like the e.l.f. The next two might be my favorite jelly highlighter shades ever, and these are the ones that I'm actually gonna put on my face right now. These also work fine over powder. I lightly powdered my face today when I wear like a lot of cream products. I always have to powder my face just because it makes me feel better and it makes everything set really well, but I just use a light powder. So the first one is, this is actually in my end of the year giveaway, just so you know, because they don't sell this anymore, I don't think. This is the Makeup Revolution Jelly Highlighter in Monumental. I think this is like the most universal one. This is sensational. It's sensational. It looks kind of gold, which I mean, it's kind of gold, but it doesn't translate that way. I'm not like a gold highlighter fan. Oh my gosh, it just gives this gorgeous like sheen to the skin. It's like sweat, gorgeous sweat. The next one is a newer one that I found. This is from Butter London. It's their Glazen Highlighter Gel in <gasps> Chandelier. And this is, this is more of like a cream. It's not so much a jelly. And it's kind of got more like a peachy kind of tone, but it's very like universal as well. It's very uh, champagne-y, I guess you could say. But this, I swatched this at Kohl's one day, like months ago, and I couldn't stop staring at my hand. It was just amazing. And this, again, also kind of like that nice kind of sweaty kind of look. Oof. Oh, I'm just obsessed with these. I, I didn't know how much I needed cream gel highlighters in my life until they became like a thing. Don't be scared of them. They're incredible. I, I can't say enough good things about them. I'm sure some are bad. These are fantastic. And the bulk of them are very affordable. I have three liquidy highlighters. And again, I wanted to mention them because they're definitely not powder. So I feel like they, they I just feel like they went into the realm of cream based things. The first is from Sleek Makeup. This is the Highlighting Elixir Illuminating Drops in Poppin' Bottles. <gasps> this is one of the most beautiful shades ever. And this is very, very metallic, but it blends out. I mean, perfect. Anybody literally could get away with this, anybody. Any skin tone, whatever. Anybody can get away with this. This I apply with a beauty blender and it's gorgeous. The next is from Makeup Obsession and this is called Let's Glow Liquid Illuminator in the shade Lust. This is definitely more of an acquired taste. It has a little bit of a slightly green undertone and I love this shade because it reminds me of my Makeup Revolution powder highlight in holographic lights. Again, I'm not a colored highlighter fan, but something about this I just love. The formula is also so smooth and creamy and like there's no glitter. It's just a very smooth consistency that when you dab it on with a beauty blender, you, you don't have a green stripe on your face. It's subtle enough that you can get away with it, but it's still gorgeous. No. What happened? A dragon. And the last liquid highlight is from Yuki, and this is a Korean beauty brand. I think you can get this on Amazon. I got this in a Korean beauty box a few months ago. This is the Professional Highlighter Beam in, hmm, I'll see if I can actually find the name for it, but it's in Korean. At first I was like, ah, this doesn't look that interesting. Oh no, no, I put it on and it's interesting. It's not, I don't wanna say it's subtle, 
but at first I was like, oh no, it's pink. It's not. Once you put it on your face and blend it out, it also gives you that kind of sweaty, wet look on your face. It's beautiful. I'm so glad I didn't discard it. My only beef is that this is an extremely tiny container. I wish it was bigger. That's what she said. All right, next we're gonna go on to eye stuff. I have four Jelly Mush shadows. They're jelly. I have the shades Photosynthesis and Late Bloomer, which is one of my favorite shades in the world. These are fantastic. My friend Allie sent me my first one to try and it blew my mind how good it was. The only issue is that these dry out very fast. So I mean, it's kind of impossible to use them up really fast. Like look how fucking gorgeous this is. I'm it's insane. Big Ego and Late Bloomer are my favorite shades. If you can get your hands on these ones, do it. They're gorgeous. Photosynthesis, photosynthesis is also gorgeous. I'll swatch that for you too. And you can mix these and like come up with your own custom shades. This is like this great gold shade. It's like a coin, a really clean coin from the days of yore. But it's weird actually, some of them Drying out really fast, I've noticed, and others that I've had longer are totally fine. I don't know. It's I, it's almost like it depends on the shade. It's very strange. I got that late bloomer shade. I just I just die over. Another one I was surprised about is the Believe Beauty Glimmer Pots Gel to Powder Eyeshadow. Not all of these are great. This is in the shade Pink Quartz, but this one is so so pretty. I don't even know if you can, if this is, this swatch is really gonna do it justice, but in real life, it's this beautiful rose gold shade. It's just the most perfect, beautiful rose gold shade. It's really creamy, it stays really nicely on the eye, and I think these are like three, it's between like three and five dollars at Dollar General. All right, the next three are also eye products, but they're like, I guess kind of more like gel cream-ish products. This one is from NYX. It's the Holographic Halo Eye Tint, and it's in the shade Gold Bar. Mm. These are really nice. I never hear anybody talk about them. It's kind of like a popper, I guess you could say. You could kind of put on anything, but it has this really cool, it's like an eye transformer, I guess. You can put it on top of stuff, you can leave it alone, but it has this kind of gold green shift to it. Really, really pretty. The Liquid Cat Suit Shimmer Liquid Eyeshadows from Wild. I have a bunch of these. Some of them are kind of like patchy and kind of crappy. Some of them aren't. This is in Cashmere Love. I really like this one. It's not overly shimmery to where you're kind of like, I don't know what to do with it. It's got a good amount of glitter and a good amount of pigment. It's kind of like nice in the middle. The last one is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Eye Glisten Foil and Glitter Liquid Eyeshadow. Again, I don't hear people talk about this. And this is in the shade Adored By You. So we have glitter on this side and kind of like liquid satin on this side. This like packs a punch. I think they have like four different ones of this. And I mean, you get a ton in here. So we have the glitter and then like the satin. You just look at my hand all day. How is it that I wasn't really interested in like glitter and stuff in my youth and now that I'm getting older I'm all like, ugh. I feel like that's sad, but who wants to see an elderly woman with glitter? I do. I do. And my last thing is not a cream product, but it makes cream products out of powder products. And I thought this was really cool. This is from Sleek Makeup. It's the Pigment Transformer Glossing Mixing Medium. So what you do with this is you mix a drop in with your loose pigments or your pressed pigments, and it turns it into a cream product. I would literally just start with like a tiny bit and just kind of eye eyeball it and stuff, but I've used this a few times and it's really cool. Like it doesn't make it oily, it doesn't make it gross. Like it's a really cool product. I found it at Target. I think I ordered it online at Target actually. Or did I get it at Ulta? Maybe it was Ulta. I'm pretty sure it was Ulta. I think it was like six bucks. And I, I think that's kind of cool. So I know you can make that with a bunch of different things, but I like that this is like a gel formula and it's not like oil or like too liquidy, like it's kind of that perfect mixing medium. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for something to make your own cream products, this is, this is kind of cool. Now for the things that I didn't love. The first is actually from ColourPop and it's their cream blush sticks. I tried two of them. 
I hated them. I literally hated them. They were patchy. They didn't blend well. I don't know what people are going on about, about them. I, they didn't work well for me. If you like them, that's great. I did not like them. I actually don't have it to show you because I gave it away. The next one is from Revolution Pro. This is the, I, I don't even, I, it doesn't even have a thing on what it's called on here, but this is a cream highlighter in the shade Famous. I was so excited about these. I have two of them. I have a kind of pinky one and I have this one. So like when you, when you put it on, you're like, oh, that's gonna be beautiful. It's like this gorgeous champagne shade. And then once you like blend it out, I don't know if you can actually see, but like it's almost gone. You can see a little bit here, but once you actually start blending it into your face, it's gone, completely gone. I'm not really sure where they were going with this, but I guess if you want a super, super, super subtle highlight, maybe this will work for you. That's not what I want. So I, this, I'm not a fan of this. Jessica Braun raves about this. This is the CYO Illuminating Turn On The Light Mixing Cream. You can use this as a primer, mix it with your moisturizer or foundation, or use it on top as a highlighter. And I tried it all of those ways. And you can see there's a luminescence to my hand, but once this dries down, if you use it as a primer, it dried my skin out so bad, I had to take it off and put something else on and just not use it. As a highlighter, it kind of left like a cast on my cheek and I didn't see anything when I mixed it, like with, a, with my foundation, like it was just too subtle. So I don't really see the point of this. It's not expensive, so I didn't really lose out on a lot of money, so that was good, but, oh, this is in the shade Raise a Glass, by the way. Um, yeah, so I was kind of bummed about this. I have mixed feelings about my next product. This is the Nude Sticks Nudies Tinted Blur Stick. It's in the shade Medium Number 7. I had high hopes because I love, love, love Nude Sticks. I just love them. I was really excited to use this as a cream contour. Like this shade, it looks like it would be perfect for me. But this pretty much blends completely away. It doesn't kind of look like it there, but once I blended it out with my beauty blender, with a brush, it's gone. I can't see a thing. And it could just be because maybe the shade is just too light for me. But I mean, this is like almost $30 for this little thing. You get 0.216 ounces. It's just, it's just very little product to have such little effect. Obviously again, it could just be a color thing, but I don't know. Here, let's see how much you actually get. Yeah, oh my God. I, I've literally used this maybe like five times. That's basically how much you get. Um, yeah, so I, I wasn't really a fan of this. I'll use it until it's gone, but the next, I had really high hopes for it. It's Makeup Forever. I heard great things about this. This is the Starlit Liquid in 01. I have no idea what this does. It's basically like glitter liquid. I, I don't know where to put this. Like it looks crazy on your cheeks as a highlighter, but I don't know how you would put it on your lids or wear because it's liquid. I don't know. I'm not sure how to use this. If you have used this before, tell me where you put it because I have no idea. And the last is the cream contour shade called Shade in the Tarte Pro Glow palette. I liked it for about the first month that I had this. After that, it turned into this like pasty, horrible to blend, patchy stripe of dirt that I just couldn't blend out. I literally got away with using it for about a month. After that, I couldn't work with it. It's horrible. I'm very sad because the shade is really good for contouring, but it just doesn't work anymore as a formula. I don't know why. Oh yeah, that was it. Let me know what your favorite cream liquid kind of products are in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my giveaway I have going on right now. Again, I'll list it in the description box. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.